Hi everyone, here we are at our Detox Devotionals and today's topic is Detox Your Communication. It's a big topic and we're going to cover just a little bit about communication and how we can detox during this fast that we're on. Um, Our first point is words are seeds. Yes, seeds, those things that you plant. Yes, words are seeds again. Um, We're going to go to Mark 414. And it says the farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. So seeds, words are seeds, right? That's what he says. And, and this covers spoken words that you speak. It covers the written words that you write. And it also covers, come on, the things that you type, whether you're typing on your phone or whatever device you use. It's covering those words as well. All right. This is one of my life scriptures that I'm going to share with you right now. And I try to gauge my my life with this scripture. And I'm going to share it with you. It's Ephesians 4.29. It says, don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything. Let means allow or permit. Everything most things. No, it says everything right here. In your word, in my word, it says, let everything you say, that means words, let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words, my words, our words, our written words, our typed words, our spoken words, all words, all communication, let it be helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. So whenever you're speaking, know that somebody is hearing you. And this is the thing. <clears throat> we want to speak things that are that are good, that are uplifting, that are building others, that are helpful, that are edifying. And yes, even correction is helpful. And isn't it isn't it the point when you're tr- when you're speaking to someone Isn't the point to get your words across so that they will receive your words? Isn't that the point? And so what I mean by that is is we need to speak in a way that people will receive those words, not just have an attitude, well, I told them. So these things, we need to speak to others, and it needs to be helpful, beneficial. It needs to be um, so they will receive it. Right. That's that's why we speak the words to them, even in correction. Okay. point two, what what we are speaking is where we are headed. Wow. So what you're saying out of your mouth, what you're writing, those things you type in Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, uh, all of them. Right. All forms of social media. Whenever you're typing those things, you're speaking them and you're speaking them out to those that are going to read them and listen to them and it's going to sink in. So those things you want to to be helpful and beneficial. You don't want to tear down others, right? Because whatever you're saying, whatever you're speaking, whatever you're writing is where you're headed. It's where you're going. So if you're speaking about um, death and all you can talk about is death and dying, Guess what? You're probably on your road to being sick and maybe going there. Um, If you're speaking against your boss and how you can't stand him or her and how you wish they were this and whatever you wish, that's probably what's going to happen. And maybe you're speaking against, I I hate this job. Um, I wish I never got this job. I hate the hours. I hate working here. I hate. Guess what? You're probably talking yourself out of a job pretty soon. So we have to watch what we're saying because that's where we're headed. So I want to go into complaining, complaining our words and complaining will, number one, disqualify you and cause God's anger to be against you. Wow. I mean, who wants God's anger to be against us? And well, how do you, how do I know that? It says right here in Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 34 and 35. It says, when the Lord heard your complaining, yikes, he hears us. He hears us. He does. When he heard your complaining, he became very angry. 
He so he solemnly solemnly swore not one of you from this wicked generation will live to see the good land I swore to give to your ancestors. Wow. God is serious about complaining and about our words. Number two thing that will disqualify you. Um, it will destroy you. Complaining will destroy you. Wow. How do I know that? Again, 1 Corinthians 10.10. 10. It says, And don't grumble as some of them did, and then were destroyed by the angel of death. Or another version says, by the destroyer. This is serious, guys. Complaining is a serious thing. Um, we can speak out in anger, in, in anxiousness and worry, in, in all kind of ways and attitudes, but complaining will bring these things to you. Number three, complaining will do, you will be judged. Yikes. In James 5, 9, it says, don't grumble or complain about others. Wow. Brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. For the four, look, the judge, capital J, that means him, is standing at the door. God is standing at the door. He's waiting. He's listening. He's listening to our conversations, our communication, how we, how we say things, what we're saying, what is the content of what we're saying. He's listening. The judge is listening. And so we don't want to be judged, not by him. And, it's, and I like what it says here. It says, don't grumble about each other. You know what? There's lots of things that we can complain and grumble about each other. Um, this sister, she said this and this one said that. And uh, we, can, we, ha we can do that. But guess what? It's not right. And we will be judged. And what is the whole point of doing it? Is it to put someone else down so that maybe I could look good? Maybe that's what it is. But we cannot complain or else we will suffer these consequences. I have a bonus scripture here. I love this scripture. It's just straight because God's word is just straight. Proverbs 21, 23. Maybe you guys can memorize this scripture. It says, watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut. God is saying, watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut. But why? And you will stay out of trouble. I love that. Because sometimes it's better that saying, it's better not to say anything than to say something and then you get yourself in trouble, right? Just don't say anything at all. If you can't say something good, don't say anything at all. And I've had to practice this in my life where uh, if I'm not going to, I ask myself, is what I'm about to say, is it going to be good? Is it going to be kind? Is it going to be beneficial? Is it going to help? Is it going to uplift? If it's not, then I better not say it. Because my words in my own spirit and my own na nature will lead to death and corruption. But it's when we're led by God's spirit that we can say the right words. So let's be led by God's spirit. And if you don't have something good to say, guess what? I just think you shouldn't say anything. And that's a practice. It's a real practice that, you know, I've had to practice um, in my life. And like I said, these are scriptures that I live by. So number three, praise should be in our mouth. So not complaining, you know, even something as the simplest thing as it's a hot day today. Okay, that's a fact, right? If it's 102 outside, it's a fact that it's a hot day. But it's when we go farther than that. When we start saying, oh, it's so hot, I can't stand it. Oh, wow. And we start complaining, right? And when somebody, aren't you hot? And I'll say, yeah, it's kind of hot outside. But then this is what I'll say. But this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice in it. I take that choice and I make that choice to say, what I want to say. And I want to say what God's word says. This is the day that he's made. And so why would I, why would I put poison on that day? He's caused me to live another day. Why would I complain about what God has done? Right? And so it says praise should be in our mouth. That's what should be in our mouth. Praise and thanksgiving. In Psalm 34, 1, it says, I will. Now there's I will. That means I permit, I allow, I will. This is my choice. This is my decision. I will praise the Lord at all times, all times. Yes, even when it's hot outside. Yes, when there's something there that there is to complain about. Yes, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly 
speak his praises. What I want to encourage everyone out there is practice this week. I know this may be the last day of our fast, but practice this week, watching your words, stay alert. Our thoughts become our words and our words become our actions. So be careful, stay alert and practice watching your words. It will make a difference in your life and in your family's life and in those around you. Love you guys. God bless.